Howdy y'all, it's TJ Marquis, and this is The Pulp Review. I cover trad and indie books that are good for your mental health, and I only review stuff I like. No score, just recommendations and a spoiler-free rundown of the good stuff. You ready? Let's rock! Some Wither, The Unwithering Realm by John C. Wright. Ilya, as he secretly dreamed, is called upon to save the mad scientist's beautiful daughter. With his squirrel gun, his grandfather's sword, and his father's crucifix, Ilya races to save the girl and incidentally, the world. So it is, Ilya Muramets is a big, ugly, motherless boy who does not look like anyone else in his Oregon town. His father is often absent on mysterious church missionary work that involves silver bullets, sacred lances, and black helicopters. One night, Professor Dreadful sends a warning to Ilya that his many worlds theory is correct, but that his experiments have opened a door that should have remained closed and his beautiful daughter Penny is in trouble. The 2016 Dragon Award winner for Best Science Fiction Novel, Some Wither is the first part of A Tale of the Unwithering Realm, a new science fantasy series from science fiction master John C. Wright. It is an adventure, it is a romance, and it is a coming-of-age story of a young man who is not a man in a world that is only one among many. It is a tale of greater and darker evil with longer reach than anything he could imagine, of pain beyond measure, and of the faith required to surmount all three. It is a story of inexorable destiny written in the stars and the stubborn courage that is required to defy it. You know by now, that I love weird stuff. This tome has it all. Old school science fiction, fantasy, science fantasy, action, metaphysics, hope, horror, humor, gore, whimsy, Christianity, and too many other subtle facets to name. Chances are you've never read a book like this before. The first several chapters are extremely time dilated. There's lots of expertly masked characterization and exposition threaded between somewhat distant plot points and yet you never feel like nothing is happening. This is in part due to our hero's odd yet refreshing personality. He has a clear, singular goal that he never loses sight of despite myriad setbacks and distractions. Because he know what he wants, and Mr. Wright is able to make every passage drip with mystery, tension, whimsy, or emotion, often all of these at once, there is never the sensation of words wasted or navel-gazing or anything thrown in just as filler. People are not kidding when they name Wright a grandmaster of sci-fi. On its face, the plot is really quite simple. A young man is thrust into heroism through a combination of his own desires, chivalry, and inherited duty. He must rescue the beautiful princess from the evil sorcerer's tower, picking up allies along the way, and learning how to be his best self. But there's really so much more to it than that. Ancient history, diverging timelines, moral quandaries, and musings about the nature of divinity and the structure of the universe, the multiverse, itself. There's steampunk, magipunk, various intersecting magic systems, and of course faith. And that's what ultimately seals up the whole thing as a great to me. Christ's power is displayed as supreme in a way that no typical Christian fiction I've read can show. I won't spoil how though, because it's just so fun to read. Don't let the mentions of whimsy and faith mislead you though, this is not a child's book. There are intense depictions of evil, graphic violence, and some language. I strongly suggest you get your copy today and dive into this surreal, yet more than real, adventure. Hey, I've got a new book! Bloodbane Quest of Lance is a fast-paced Castlevania pastiche that seeks to go deeper with fresh lore, themes, and implications for its world. A hardworking father must fight through an army of evil sorcerers to get back to his wife and daughter. Very minor lit RPG elements round out this pulpy horror fantasy adventure. Buy today and have a blast! Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, like the video because you're a wonderful person, and good journey.